This means the world to me. I've actually, since London, this has been my main focus. So all I wanted to do was make the Rio Olympics and win that gold. Well, now I know sort of the, the recipe or what, what it's going to take. Um, it's always constant refining to improve my performance and make it the best performance um, it can be on that day and getting that timing right. So I know I can do it. I've, I've done it in the past and I'm very hungry and, and very passionate about yeah, winning that gold medal. It was just incredible. Um, I actually was picturing the moment the night before and I was like, I'm going to cry, I'm going to cry. Um, and I got to, yeah, when it got to the end of the day in the medal ceremony, I was like, I'm fine, I'm fine, I've got it together, I'm keeping it together. But as soon as she got up onto that podium and she started crying, then I just started crying and we were just there bawling our eyes out and we just hugged each other and it was a really special moment. It's unreal, it's such a nice feeling um, and to be able to share it again with Carmen and now this time have her sister on board, my, one of my closest companions, Hader, and my brother Ali, it's just an unreal feeling, really looking forward to it. Well, when we first started seeing each other, she actually told me she's going to be the first world champion and I laughed it off saying, no, I would. So she's got one up on me there, but I told her I will get the Olympics before her. So I've got to back up my words and make sure I do it. Look, we're all definitely capable individually of winning an Olympic medal. I don't doubt that. And as long as we all work together and we keep bouncing off one another and keep pushing each other forward, because, you know, we've all got the experience now. We've all got the, the physical capabilities. And I don't doubt that each individual can definitely come away with an Olympic medal. It just comes down to putting it together on the day. It is unbelievable. I'm, it's still sinking in. Uh, I couldn't actually believe that I'm going to Rio with my sister and my two friends, Safwan and Hader. It's been um, a lifetime of work, and especially after um, a failed London campaign for me, it's all the more sweeter um, representing Australia at, at Rio. I just want to really, really enjoy the whole experience. Um, I want to obviously go for gold and, and give myself permission to have that dream. Um, yeah, I think that Australia is definitely underrated um, as a Taekwondo co country. We definitely have the skills to prove ourselves on the world stage and come prove that by becoming Australia's first world champion and Safwan being in the top eight and winning uh, medals at the Grand Prix event has definitely proved that we, we, we can get medals um, on, on the world stage. Well, I used to work at a Brazilian restaurant, so um, I definitely know that uh, Brazilians like to have a good time. Um, so I guess just the music and the culture and the singing and the dancing, I'm hoping that will be there. Um, I do have a few friends that have already bought their tickets for Rio and my family are hoping to go as well. So I definitely think there'll be a party vibe, but Brazilians love their sport. So I think that um, Taekwondo will definitely have um, a, a great crowd.